Okay, we're going to look at the next stage of making our African mask, and that is adding the colour. So once we've completed our, uh, sticking the tape on, we can add the colours. We're going to use just three colours for all the masks. We're going to use black, red and white. We're going to use acrylic paint, which I've got some here, and we're just going to add one colour at a time. We're going to use a, a, a fairly you might want to use a small brush, we've got a range of brushes and we're going to use this ready mixed acrylic paint it's um, nice to use and it covers much better than the watercolours which you might have used so here, if we look here we've got the, the mask that we've been working on I've gone all over this now with the brown tape and any areas that, that um, were showing through I've tried to cover them even the, the found items I've covered so what I'm going to do next is, with a pencil, I'm going to just sketch out, and I don't know if you can see that, the camera pick out, but I'm going to sketch out the pattern that I want to add onto my mask. Once I've done that, it's simply a matter of taking the ready mixed paint and just working with one colour at a time. So whichever colour you choose, and adding and as you can see here that the acrylic paint probably cover in one coat if you you're careful with it it's also quite quick drying so it's quite easy to add you can see that, sorry it was out of shot for a little while um, So you can see there, just adding one colour at a time, whichever colour you like to choose, adding one colour at a time and building up our colours until we've got the three colours on our African mask. 